Like this? Like this I do for you, okay? Yes, it's good. <laughs> Make it interesting. We like it. Pick the color I do for you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys liking Comic Con so far? I hate it. I know. No. <laughs> um, we kind of got in late, so in terms of the convention floor, we haven't had a chance to really explore. You explored a little. I explored bit. a little bit. I explored a little bit. Um, but I mean, we. I mean, I've been around on the bus. We've been on a little party bus, watching like the thousands of people walking around in their costumes. Nice. Um, all the cool setups. There we saw one guy, what was it, like like air skis or what do you call Oh my god, when you like fly on the water, you know what I'm talking about? You like, like, like jet, jet, ski, jet, jet skis, jet skis on your yeah. foot and then you say, like, We saw that, we saw guys on zip lines with guns. Activities. Oh yeah, I did that yeah. yesterday. You did that? Yeah. Was it amazing? It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. It was pretty cool. It was, it was awesome. You know, it's just something that you not. Where did, where else does this happen in yeah. the world? Yeah. Um, yeah. So even though I have not dimension floor, just this whole entire experience, this Comic Con backdrop, you guys, we gotta get some photos, <laughs> um, the interviews, the Playboy party. Well, more about that, please. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Oh, we had the best driver last night. Wait, okay, we're the greatest driver of all time. He needs his own reality show. <laughs> yeah, he so was we bumping were, tunes. Well, we, were, we started off at the Sharknado sci-fi party, um, which was awesome. They had the sharks in the pool. Uh -huh. um, and then we decided to move on to the Playboy party. <laughs> Don't call sci-fi Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna come back, we just wanted to check it out. But there were seven of us, um, and we had to find transportation, and a bicyclist wasn't gonna do it. So we saw this guy on the street, he had a big black SUV, and I said, You know, how many can you fit in your car? And he said, Seven. Perfect. He's like, Do you guys have Uber? And I'm like, don't worry about it. We'll pay you. We'll handle it. We'll handle it. So he put us all in his car, and then he started DJing. It was he crazy. started bumping tunes. It was crazy. It was Lil John. It was all the throwbacks. And then in between each song, he would like turn the music down and like write commentary. And be like, this one's for the ladies. And then like would just bump them. It was amazing. Yeah. So that that aspect of Comic Con has been pretty really neat. So let's talk about the show for a second. Yeah. Is that okay. Yes. Okay. All dead. All day. No. All day. All dead. All dead. We're all Is that dead. A slip? So speak, are you getting inspiration from the show, talking about all these different things you're seeing uh, that you might use in the next season, creative ways to take out the zombies? We totally did. So the, the, the zipline guys with the guns, all of us, we drove by, and I think it was the moment where I went, Duh! and I like looked at Carl, and we're like, right, what does it be? So. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Well, bless that. She, you know, she's, um, you know, transformation has really, uh, I think transformation is, is a great word for the show in general. Yeah. Season two, transformation. You know what I mean? Relationships are transforming. People are transforming. Different transformations. Cassandra's definitely transforming. How do you know about that? <laughs> no one Yeah, she is transforming. And that's Cassandra's big um, journey for season two is, well, what is she transforming to? What is she becoming? Where is she going? Um, and, and is she more human than zombie or vice versa? Um, so I'm really excited for the fans to see that and um, excited to see where her journey, where her journey goes um, and just sort of get everyone's reaction because it's, it's going to be wild, I think. And how's, how's that going to work with Murphy and the group and his, like, voodoo Well, I think abilities. that's the fun in, in the conflict. Um, does it work with Murphy and the group? Someone had asked us, is the mission still to get to California? And, um, you know, and Sage's response was yes. And my response was, well, some of us. You know, maybe not all of us want to go to California. Um, so, again, that's a Murphy thing. Um, He's always causing trouble I that Murphy. We're so good. <laughs> he's told toward the end of the first season. I think he's a great, you know, this is a great pair of you two. Um, and then all we see is he's out, he's still hanging around outside the, the you know, the, the, the wall. Um, and the missiles are coming, so. Yep. Um, it's a hell of a cliffhanger. And, and uh -huh. so, <laughs> <laughs> is there a question there? You'd like me to answer? Well, well, I'm hoping. I guess I don't know if I can answer it. I'm hoping that maybe they can make any reconcile. We do, yeah. Um, um, without spoiling the fun, we do get out of our little coinkadink uh, predicament, um, and you know, 
circumstance is going to bring us back together. But it's a really, again, transformation. It's a completely different thing because you kind of can't go back right. from where where we were. Yeah. Um, but it, you, you're also what you're not getting out of, it, right? <laughs> There's not a lot of people left in this world. You know, you got to survive together. Everybody's relationship changes. Yeah, this season yeah. Um, it gets put to the test, and then you have a lot of new characters that are being introduced. So you have a lot of new relationships that um, you know are coming together. And you know, and then you and like 10K, it seemed like they're you know. He's got a lot of affection for you. Who does he? Well, we finally have a love affair. I mean, um, <laughs> oops. Wait. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. Um, you know that? Yeah, that relationship with 10K and Cassandra is is really interesting. Um, I'm sorry. I, I interrupted you. Did you have a question? No. About that? I, 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 was, I was saying, you know, it, it seemed like you know, in the, you know, you were heading toward a certain direction, and then, you know, even in the last episode, you know, he's, you know, he's, you know, saying goodbye to you on the gurney, and then yeah. now you're like, Lisa, you don't know if you're, how much human, how much you know, zombie you are. Yeah. And so I don't know how, how does he? I mean, I'm just wondering, you know, like, you know. Well, I guess I didn't know. I was trying to gauge the state of their relationship. I'm not sure how. You know, I, like I said, going back to my original thought is. You know, he has a lot of affection for her, but he really hasn't made any uh, Right. Well, you know, that's, yeah, that's funny. You know, I get asked a lot if, um, if Cassandra and 10K are romantically linked, um, which I think is an interesting question because the last guy Cassandra was with, she had him for dinner, and so, 10K has never seen porn, and so their idea of romance is probably a little bit different. Um, the normal people. Um, so I think that yes, they, they might have a lot of affection for each other and care for each other. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily romantic. Um, I think that maybe we kind of keep it open too because it's funner that way. Um, but again, because they are close, um, her becoming more of a zombie does become an issue in season two. Um, for her. That's his journey that he gets to explore. Yeah. Dealing with all of them. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All the time. Thank you. Thank you, guys.